I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 14th of December, 2022, and this is my vlog of daily life in Leon, Nicaragua. And today we are actually traveling. So I'm recording this early so that we can get this video up for you. So instead of doing my recap of the day, I'm doing my forecast of the day. And hopefully it's good. If you want to make sure that all of this has come true and that our travels are going well, you can check out my shorts channel where I should be, in theory, updating you throughout the day. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will do my best. Today is a very busy day, so there won't be a ton of stuff. Uh, partially because I'm on the road, so it's difficult to upload, uh, but also partially just because we're in the car and very busy and there's only so much we can do. Uh, so we're getting up at, uh, we're getting up around four o'clock this morning. We were supposed to be getting on the road at five. Paul's supposed to be driving us. Hopefully he's feeling better. He's been under the weather for the last several days, like with a fever, like pretty sick. And uh, we are driving from Leon here where we live down to Piñas Blancas, which is the border crossing into Costa Rica. So today our destination is Costa Rica. Uh, we'll be heading to Liberia, which is just about an hour, hour and a half over the border. We have a shuttle picking us up. So we will leave at five. We hope to get to the border crossing at about 930 and we hope to be through the border by about 10. As long as we can get through before 10, we normally can beat the buses and it's so fast and easy. No big deal. Once we're into Costa Rica, life is easy. We just have a shuttle picking us up at the border. Uh, should be there about 11, um, I think, no, about 10. And we should be at our hotel between 11 and noon. And we're just staying at the Hilton Garden Inn right by the airport. It's slightly more expensive. And Dominica was a little bit wary about spending the extra, it's like $30 more than another hotel in the area. And I said, okay, it's next to the airport and it includes a shuttle and it's a Hilton. So let's really think about these numbers. It gives us Hilton points for one thing, because we are Hilton members. And when we travel to places with Hiltons, it's where we tend to stay. And we have a Hilton here in Managua. So it's not like we never use them in country. Um, and the shuttle is gonna cost us a minimum of $10. And we're gonna be nervous about it because what if our shuttle doesn't arrive? What if this, what if that? We know the Hilton shuttle will be reliable. We also know if the Hilton shuttle isn't running, we'll know ahead of time and we can pick up our luggage and walk to the airport. As annoying as that is, it is walkable. And if we absolutely had to, a taxi could just take us across the street. We have so many options. We won't be stressed if we're at the Hilton by the airport, partially because it's a Hilton, but partially much more so that it's right across the street from the airport. And, uh, uh, and then the kids like staying at Hilton. We know there's going to be hot water. We know it's going to be comfortable. We know it's going to feel like the U.S. And we like staying in those hotels. And the kids always miss staying at the Hilton. And so that's it's just that's what we're going to do. We'll do our best to eat at Taco Bell and Burger King while we are there. Uh, we'll have a little bit of time to do so. So we get um, this afternoon should be. Uh, we're just going to check into the hotel, drop off our luggage, and then probably head in and get uh, Taco Bell and Burger King. They're right next door to each other, basically, uh, on a nice intersection in the middle of the city. So it's really easy to hang out there and get food and keep the kids happy. And I'm not going to have a laptop today. Right? I'm traveling sin computer, uh, which is a little bit scary. So if anybody needs me, I'm offline. All I have is my phone today. That is it. I don't have a GoPro. I don't have anything. Um, and uh, so it's going to be mostly like napping and chilling in the hotel. We will go to bed early tonight because we don't have very much to do. Um, and then tomorrow morning we are getting up early and uh, heading to the airport re relatively early. I guess it's not, I guess we're not getting up early. We're heading to the airport on the early side in the morning um, where we will catch our flight uh, to Houston Hobby. We will then tomorrow night be uh, spending the night uh, we think at Dominica's sister's house uh, in Friendswood, Texas, uh, but we'd get very little time. Her parents are going to pick us up from the airport, run us to the house, probably going to be able to get dinner with everyone, um, hang out for just a little bit, but they've all got school and stuff. They can't hang out late. We'll see the dogs, whatever. We'll, we'll sleep, and we got to get up and get right back to the airport uh, because we have to catch a early flight to Buffalo, New York, where we'll be flying into. And I don't know how we're being gotten at the airport at this point. So we'll be in Buffalo and possibly stranded at the airport until we figure that out. But we will be able to drop off some of our luggage in Houston as we go through. So that is nice. Uh, and then when we get to my dad's house in Geneseo, New York on Friday night is the first that I'm going to have a computer again, but it is a brand new computer that isn't set up yet. So I've got to do all of that. So today is going to be a lot of just uh, this whole week is going to be a lot of travel. It is, I have three days blocked off on my calendar at work to be able to do this. And that's why I'm recording this video ahead of time. Three days without being able to do the videos is going to leave me 
That was an entire palm frond just fell out of a tree <laughs> next to me. Palms make a lot of noise. It's really funny. When you live by a bunch of palm trees, you don't realize just how much, well, when you do live by them, you realize, but when you don't real, live by them your whole life and then you live by them, you don't realize how much they are, <laughs> there's things running around, full of lizards and full of coconuts that fall out of them with, with quite some regularity. And giant palm fronds will fall out quite often as well. Here, I'll, I'll show the line there, and it's uh, this one right, right here, just fell out of the tree seconds ago. Um, it is a type of tree that drops a lot of stuff compared to, to normal trees. And so wherever you go with palm trees, there's, you gotta do a lot of cleanup and stuff. That's one of the reasons why there's so many fires in Nicaragua, they're constantly burning the trash falling out of the, the palm trees. Um, and so uh, really worried about falling way behind because we we don't have our normal workflow stuff. Um, we're gonna be hopefully setting up a new computer. We've got lots to do. Uh, so when we get to uh, New York on Friday, hopefully I can get uh, Thursdays and Fridays videos made and turned over to Liesl right away and she can get them edited and we can start uploading so that we have our buffer again. But with so much travel and Christmas stuff going on, falling behind is just way too easy. So doing what I can to avoid that, that's the reason for today's. So the drive to Pinas Blancas is about four and a half hours. So Paul's doing a nine hour round trip. Uh, we just get to ride in the car. Uh, and it's nice for us, uh, first of all, because we don't have to drive, but uh, it's a simple drive first thing in the morning, just nap in the car. And then once we're over, like really the whole thing to Liberia is really, really easy. And we're flying Southwest. So it's a direct fr flight from Liberia to Houston Hobby, which is right by uh, Francesca's house, Dominica's sister. So the whole thing is super easy for us. And even though Managua now has flights Again. So first of all, we didn't fly out of Managua because those flights did not exist when we booked this. We, we couldn't depend on them. So we're not saying we would do this again at this point. Um, but uh, because we can fly out of Liberia directly to Hobby, it makes our lives really easy for that direct flight. We may continue to do this to some degree because it is so easy and these flights are really cheap. But having to get the shuttle from the from the border to the hotel is about $80. Uh, that's that's 80 bucks we have to spend. We have that night in the Hilton. That's 130 or whatever. That's like $210 just to get to that airport um, to get that nice flight. It's, it's pretty easy to, to save that money and fly out of Managua. And now that we have a car and we live less than two hours from Managua airport, it's really not a big deal to drive straight to it for a flight. We don't necessarily have to go to Managua and stay ahead of time. So chances are we're gonna start using Managua now that Spirit has returned and we'll just be flying to Texas on Spirit uh, and do things that way. That's the expectation, um, but that's for our next trip, not for this one. So another trip to Costa Rica. And this is at least my third time going to Costa Rica in the last year. Uh, so it's, it's becoming interesting that Costa Rica is such a place that I never went to. And now it's it's really rapidly becoming a yeah, we just run down to Costa Rica. I don't think anything of it. It really is quite easy. And it's neat having another country that you just use for things regularly, right? And it gives us that little bit of change of pace. There's just a little bit different culture, just a little bit different food, just a little bit different feel when you're in Costa Rica. And it's neat to get um, our day here and there. So that's our day. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wrap it up. That's. You don't need a lot for today. Um, there's no way for me to make a super interesting one, and I'll get this uploaded so Liesl can start editing. Thanks for joining me. Please remember, like and subscribe. Ask your questions. Leave your comments down below. Jump down there. Just get involved. Let's have a conversation about whatever you want to talk about. Flights. You want to talk about visiting Costa Rica, going between Costa Rica and Nicaragua, um, uh, getting a new laptop. Whatever. Whatever. I. It's. It's such a great community of of interesting discussion down there, and and the the questions you guys ask are so often how I come up with topics. So I. Really Really appreciate when people are asking questions um, that it, it gives me something to talk about otherwise I ramble like this and uh, if you'd like to support the channel directly you can buy me a coffee that really does come straight to me it, it helps a lot and uh, and of course I mentioned on the other video go after this watch another, another video um, even if you're not paying attention it helps quite a bit for uh, promoting the channel to YouTube get them put it in their algorithm and uh, remember to share on on social media tell your friends about the show I will see all of you from New York in two days. And and right about now they're gonna pop up this little like video. You can just click on that video right there. That's the one YouTube thinks that you're gonna like. Give it a try. <laughs>